In this video, you'll learn how to create professional looking product mockups such as mugs, t-shirts, even online items like digital courses and e-learning programs that you may wanna display and showcase on your offer page. And if you work with clients, you may wanna show how their logo looks like on merchandise and other pieces of items. So if you wanna learn more, keep on watching. Hi, my name's Aurelius and on this channel, I share my tips, tool reviews and tutorials to help you scale your business with online tech. So if that interests you, be sure to subscribe below and turn on notifications too, so you don't miss out on any future videos. The two tools that you'll need is number one, smart mock mockups, number two, Canva. So smart mockups, this is the essential tool that you'll need to actually create those realistic, professional looking product mockups that you see on their website, like this packaging uh, here, right here. We've got t-shirts, we've got hats, caps, and other merchandise and packaging. Smart mockups isn't a designing tool, but more so you take your design over to smart mockups and then that'll basically convert it into this, you know, the packaging and the mockup. And that's where Canva comes in. Thankfully, Canva and smart mockups integrates pretty well together. And to get started, all you need to do is first figure out what product mockup you want. You can sign up for smart mockups for free. They do have a limited amount or number of uh, mockups that you can choose from. Uh, otherwise, you can also upgrade and they have plenty, dozens of mockups to choose from. And I'm a big fan of smart mockups actually. And this video isn't sponsored at all by smart mockups. I just love the tool and I use it for many of the things that we do in our business, especially with our clients. We wanna showcase logos, on the t-shirts and other merchandise. So that's where it comes really handy. As well as let's say you've got an ebook, you can showcase your product or ebook covers right there. So once you've determined what mock-up you want, you can actually go to all mock-ups and then from the left, you can see the categories. We've got a smartphone, we've got desktop, laptop, tablet, all under the technology category. We've also got print such as business cards, uh, magazines, books, and all sorts of things like that. And so determine which one you want. Once you've determined what product mockup you want, that's where you go and let's say t-shirts. We are going to now choose one. Let's say we want uh, men's t-shirts. And then you can also filter it by isolated. So then that means there's no background. It's just the t-shirt itself. If you do want kind of more realistically looking uh, a mock-up such as, you know, someone standing in front here, like this guy here, we've got that. But keep on going and take a look at which one you like. So I'm gonna just pick a random one, like this one right here. All right, from here, we can actually see, you know, what we like and then start designing in Canva. All right, so I've got Canva open and where you can start is for this one in particular, we wanna put our logo or whatever print we want on the shirt. So let's just search for logo and I'm just gonna use one of the templates here. And here are all the logos that the results have given me for logo when I search for logo. Now, of course, if you do wanna trademark and do all that, you don't wanna use one of these. You basically wanna start one from scratch or get a designer to design a logo. But for the sake of this demo, I'm not going to design a logo in front of you. The whole concept or the whole idea of this is to show you how to basically use Canva with smart mockups. But let's say I am done with my logo here. You know, with their templates, you can actually edit it if you wish. But you know, what we're going to do now is let's say we are done with our design. Uh, all we need to do is just first go here where it has a three dotted line and that will show here. Share, under share, we can click on see all. And there's actually an integration with smart mockups. Now, I've already integrated smart mockups with Canva, but when you click on smart mockups, you'll need to sign in to your smart mockups account. And once you do do that, it'll show to save the design. So I'll click on save. So it's preparing the design and basically it's taking, moving it over to Smart Mockups. So then I can uh, use it within Smart Mockups. Now, once you do that, you can actually see view in Smart Mockups. You wanna basically click that. I'm gonna open it in a new tab. And right away, as you can see, these are all the mockups that it has produced uh, within Smart Mockups. Now, whether you wanna do t-shirts or smartphone mockups, and of course, all of this can actually be 
uh, kind of resized down or edited uh, based on the you know the mock-up. But since we are optimizing it for t-shirts, that's all we are looking at right now. So the t-shirts look pretty cool right off the bat, and we didn't do much editing at all. So let's say you know uh, we like this one here, we can click it. And then that will show a bigger version. There are more customization options if you just click on the edit. And then that will basically show the resizing options. I can decrease this size. And let's say I want it in the corner rather. I can do so, make it a bit smaller, even smaller. So it's not too overwhelming like that. Okay, I'll click on crop and continue. And that's how it looks like. That looks a lot better. You can also customize by clicking customize and that will show a t-shirt color. So let's choose a gray color instead. However, see what we did right here, we've got the actual logo, but the background isn't transparent. So in order to make sure we have a transparent background, we need to go back and make sure that we can save this as a transparent uh, logo. So once we click on download, we can click on transparent background. Now this won't directly integrate with Smart Mockups, but you can upload it directly into Smart Mockups. So that's option two, rather than clicking on save and then using the option of integrating right here, you can actually download the image and then upload it manually to Smart Mockups. So that's option number two. And I wanna show you how to do that in case you don't wanna go through the integration uh, option. So I'll click on download and then where it says transparent background, I'm going to make sure I select PNG as well. Click on download and find the image that you just saved from Canva. That's the logo right there that I wanted. Click on open. Now you can resize the logo once again. So I'll just resize it down to where I want. Somewhere here, looks good. So on the right there, you can see a, a real time version there. So a bit lower. Now I'll crop and continue. And now it's got a transparent background. We can click on customize, change the t-shirt color to gray, and there we go. So it works pretty well like that if you do wanna go through that route where you just upload the image rather than integrate and saving it on uh, Canva. Another thing I wanted to note is that Smart Mockups also provides the dimensions for a specific mockup. So for this t-shirt, and in this example, we've got a thousand by 1,500. So if you do want to create a custom design in Canva, we can actually create a custom design right here, custom dimensions. We can then put in the dimensions that we saw, which was 1,000 pixels by 1,500, create a new design there. And then from there, we design whatever we want. So once you do uh, upload whatever it is, then that'll fit perfectly on this uh, mock-up. Now let's now go and I'm gonna show you another example, but this time let's do a, an ebook. All right, so many of you are product creators as well. So what we can do is go to all mock-ups and let's check out under print. We can click on books. Now you can see all the book covers and examples. These look pretty nice and the ones that don't have the lock that you see here are the ones that, um, the ones that, sorry, the ones that do have the lock are for pro or paid customers only. Uh, you can also click on uh, isolated if you do want, or photo, the ones with the background. Um, but what we can do is go back to Canva and what I'm gonna do now is click on ebook cover all right, I'm gonna choose one of the templates just to show you, but of course you wanna make sure you design one uh, from scratch. And let's choose living the simple life. That's a good one there. And let's say you're, des you're done designing your ebook cover, or if you wanna start one from scratch, you can actually just follow one of the uh, templates and then start deleting whatever elements you don't want. Um, let's say you don't want that design, start one from scratch add a photo, add some text, you know, uh, but I'm gonna undo everything because that was all I needed to now, you know, uh, click on this option, see all, and then click on Smart Mockups. And then I'm gonna click Save. So then that will then be kind of exported 
uh, imported, sorry, into uh, Smart Mockups. And now I'm gonna view in Smart Mockups and then you'll see all these examples. But of course we wanna make sure we have a book example. So we've got book mockups, uh, click on browse all. And so you can see how it looks like on individual mockups as shown here. And look how great this one looks, you know, we've got this. So if we wanna display this on our website, we can click that and it's already sized to match the actual dimensions of the product mockup. Now this background that you see, this checkered background that you see means that it's on a transparent background. So that means when you do save it, you can put on put it on any background on your website and that'll take in that background. We can also select a solid background if we want to by clicking on customize and then clicking on where it says background, clicking on the paintbrush, choosing the color that we want like so, or we can choose one of the gradients or edit the colors if we wish, but really depends on your purpose, what you're doing. Once you are done, just click on download and then choose the quality of the image and that will save it to your computer. That is all you need to do. You can also save the, uh, the design so you can go back to it and edit it if you do wish to do that. As simple as that, <laughs> that's all you need to do in order to create professional looking product mockups. As a little side note, here's the pricing of smart mockups. It starts from $9 per month. So I think this would make sense if you do do a lot of mockups and you wanna create a lot of mockups for clients and whatever it is. So it depends on your goals, your purpose. And if you do wanna upgrade, it includes all of the premium mockups. Again, links to all these tools will be in the description below. So go ahead and check that out. Hope this video was helpful. And if it was, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel below. Turn on notifications too. So you don't miss out on any video tutorials just like this. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching and be sure to stick around to watch these next relevant videos.